you said about yourself that you were the school slut. Oh, yeah. I've always been like a really sexual person. And even when I was working at the solar company, it was all men. I was fucking everyone in the office. Damn, girl. None of them knew. So I would like be taking them to the warehouse. You were fucking people at work? Yeah, like I barely get my work done. So you were going to get fired eventually anyway? No, because I was fucking my boss too. Oh, my God. So he wasn't going to fire me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pillow Time! <laughs> can't sing, but welcome to the show, babies. Pillow Talk is brought to you by Jerkmate. Jerkmate is the world's largest and best loved adult cam and live chat community in the world. Jerkmate members can chat, interact, and explore their sexual fantasies with thousands of beautiful cam models worldwide. You can quickly find your dream model with hundreds of different categories and tags. You click right through it, you find the one you love her. Personally, I love the Colombian ladies. I chat with them every single night. It's safe, anonymous, and very interactive with millions of members online. And exciting news, I am hooked you all up. I got you guys a promo code where you get $10 free to play with on Jerkmate. So you're going to get money to go on the best site in the world. I did that for you guys. If you check below, use my link to claim this once in a lifetime prize. Again, that's free money. We're giving you money to go on the best site in the world. Enjoy that. And with that money we're giving you guys, you can use gold to tip the models. You can request one-on-one -on -one private shows. That's my favorite. That's what I do every night and can trigger connected sex toys. Jerkmate.com. Never jerk off alone again. So check it out, boys. It's literally the best fucking site in the world. You know I don't lie. I'm obsessed with Jerkmate. Go check it out. But first, let's get to Pillow Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite podcast. This is Pillow Talk. I'm your host, Ryan Pownell, the number one adult show in the world. We love you for tuning in every week. We appreciate you. We read all the comments. And finally, our guest that you've been begging for is here. They've been begging for you. I mean, I've been begging you to have me on. That's forever. fucking, don't even, <laughs> hey, don't say that. Because I've been talking to myself in her DMs for six years, I feel I, like. I, what can I say? Like playing hard to get. Fuck. Were you ignoring him? Yeah. I wasn't ignoring him. I was just She hesitant. big leaked me. And then I met you at AVN and you were very nice. And I said, okay. Hmm. So, again, so what, what was it about him? Like just looking at his online presence that made you say, I'm not going to answer this DM. It wasn't. No, I think I answered. Didn't I? I answered at least. I just didn't commit. I was like, just right. I'm, I'm very cautious. How about you? You're cool. You're not a podcast girl. I mean, I've, I've been on a few, but like I said, I'm like, I like to feel people out and, and I wanted to wait till we could actually meet. And then, like I said, we met and I thought you were cool. So here I am. And that's what matters, right? That's what matters. <laughs> so introducing first our co-host. Hi. This is Ava Louise. <laughs> and our guest today, we've been begging, hounding, harassing almost, it feels like. Not sexually, but. Are you sure? <laughs> for, for now, for now. <laughs> She's probably the most beautiful, natural adult star to ever grace us on the internet. This is blush. six years in the industry, took over, rose to the heights of goat status. She's up with the legend. She only works with the queens. Spiegler girl. Alina Lopez. Thank you it's an honor. Me. No, I'm excited to be here. Oh, I'm a little nervous. I'm nervous. Yeah. You're making me nervous. You know, we, <laughs> I'm not nervous. we just filmed before this with Violet Myers. Yeah, I, I filmed with her this morning. That's what she said. Yeah, I fucked mm -hmm. her this morning, and then I got to see her again today. Right, and she said she was learning so much about you on how you suck dick. Really? Yes. What did she say? What did she say? About your tongue. Yes, the tongue. Uh, that's what it was. Yeah, okay. So what is this about your tongue? So it's kind of just like, honestly, it's like my cop out because I can't deep throw. So it's like... If <gasps> you I, can't deep throw? I mean, I feel like the like back of my teeth are like like narrow together like so I, I can but I feel like I'm always hurting the guy so I don't uh -huh. really deep throat but since I can't really do that I have to compensate so I just I have a long tongue thankfully so I just like mm. do tongue tricks and it's hot how it, like so. can you show us my tongue yeah that oh, is a very yes. long tongue that is a long tongue <laughs> I could stick it out further but I don't want to ruin my lips that's out, as big so. as the average dick I'd say <laughs> almost I mean I guess I wouldn't know hey, let me ask you this <laughs> have you ever come across a penis smaller than your tongue yes Wow. How yes. is that? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't fuck him. I would think I was pegging. Did you him. suck him off though? No. Did you like no, compare? No. If, you, if you have a dick that small, then I'm I'm topping you. So. So wait, you mm. saw his dick and you said fuck off? No, I was. It was like a dominatrix thing. So he had like oh. a he, he was into like SPH, like small penis humiliation. Uh -huh. Okay, that so, is so fucking weird. I do that a lot on OnlyFans, like a lot. Yeah, honestly, mm -hmm. I love it though because if you have a small dick, you might as well just embrace it and make it a fetish because now they love it because now that you can't make fun of them because. Mm -hmm. They, they'll come. They I like feel like it. if I had a micro, I would want girls to say it's not that bad. I would do it. I mean, that would just, cheer me up. You kind of just have to embrace it at that point. What part of you telling me I'm so small well, you, you never touch me? You can't be ashamed of something, you know. Well, you 
yeah, I guess you can't be ashamed of something that you have no shame over. So well, I feel like it's liberating. Well, in they're, a sense. St- they're, they're still ashamed, but they're like turning it into something positive where it's their kink where they get off on the shame. Mm-hmm. I mean, humiliation fetishes are not uncommon at all. So it's just another form of a humiliation. But fetish. say like an overweight, obese person. Uh huh. They're not going to go to Alina Lopez and say, tell me I need to hit the gym because I'm a fat fuck. They're going to say, you're cute. You look good in your hoodie when you hide your rolls. Not bad. I guess I, I haven't had a lot of obese people approach me then. So. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I have a lot, a lot of small dick guys. Exactly. That's my point. It's guess, fucking I'm weird. Just, I'm just good at making fun of people, I guess, because <laughs> I have a lot of small penis humiliation. Do you want to do one for us right now? Pretend Ava has a tiny horn. No, I would have I, a huge dick if yeah, I was Yeah, I know. Guy. See, it's just not. I could do it, it, could really do it to big. you. I could tell. Yeah. I, I could do it to you. Sure. Actually, <laughs> we, we've had Super Mike. We want, Liam, do you want to take it? What? The small dick humiliation? No, no I'm, I'm not doing it to anyone that I like. <laughs> sure, do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Make funny. You, you call that a penis? Like, I what try. am I supposed to do with that? You think that's going anywhere near me? Please. No. No. In, come what, in what fucking world? Oh, come that's, on. That's a pinky. That's it, like, I could, I could wave at it and laugh at it. But no, that's just not going anywhere near me. People pay money for that. Yeah, I mean, that's not obviously the best I can do. But yeah, I do, <laughs> I, I'm not even that great at it, but they still fucking pay for it. It's because you're hot. You're so hot. Sure. So who do you fuck off cam? Um... I, it's been a lot of girls lately. Yeah. I, I didn't even like realize it because like I've had like fans saying something about me being an all girl performer now, mm. and I'm like, no, like no, I'm still shooting boy girl. Like, and then I look back at my last like ten scenes that I've shot, and it's like all just like lesbian scenes. So. And what sells better for you, both of you, boy um, girl or GG? Boy girl for me. Everyone uh, likes boy girl. Right? I fucked Mia Malkova, and it How did not that? sell at all. It was awesome. She was so hot. Huh. So hot. That made me really question my sexuality, like very deeply. Are you straight? Sort of. You don't. You don't sound straight. If you're questioning <laughs> it, you're at least a little bit bi. I've had sex with plenty of women, but I do really love a nice big cock. Sure, sure. Mm. But yeah, yeah, I like getting cream pied. Like a woman can't yes. come inside me. So that's the thing. And I love yeah. sucking dick and yeah. I can eat pussy really great, but there's nothing like feeling a cock like down the back of my throat for me. Sure. Yeah. I think, I mean, you get different things from each gender, mm-hmm. but I mean, if you, if you are okay with even having sex with a woman, you're still on the spectrum there somewhere. I, after after I fucked me in Malkova, I thought I was in love with her. Yeah. Okay, for like so hours. So you're definitely like at by at least a little bit. Though. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I've so so what sounds better for you, boy, girl? Um, I think I think it is girl girl. I think I like have been really into women lately. So those scenes are coming out a lot more passionate and intense. So they're just selling better, I guess, for now. It's got to be. I'm picturing that tongue on tongue uh, fucking the pussy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like that's definitely like that's got to be your thing. Yeah. Because like when people are watching girl girl, the one thing, you know, a lot of people who like to watch boy girl don't watch girl girl because there's no penetration. But when I'm shooting girl girl, I can like open it up and just like fuck them with my tongue and I can like do it long enough so that I can like still open. You can see it. See, we like that. So you're seeing them get penetrated still. So I feel like I have a lot of. And you strap on a strap on. I've done that. Yeah. Okay. And how does it always. Okay. Is that hard to do? Because I feel like it's definitely really hard. It's so fucking hard. I had so much respect for like male performers (laughs) after the first time Mm -hmm. I like fucked someone with a strap on because it is so much more work than you think. It's not that hard. It's hard for you (laughs) girls with a strap on. But for us, it's plenty. I mean, we're not built for that. You know what I'm saying? It's just our like our vagina is like on the bottom, and when you have a penis, it's like up here. So your like your angles are all totally different. See, to me, it would be weird to penis. fuck where your vagina is. Yeah, because it's like, oh shit, you gotta go all the way well, up. You never you... had anything up your butt? Yeah, I was gonna say, just have someone like fuck you in the butt, and then you'll know what it's like to to be fucked lower down there. Uh-huh. Have you ever done that? Have you ever been pegged? Okay, you look peggable. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I look peggable? Yeah. What about me is so peggable? You have like a sweet peggable face. A I peggable just, face? Yeah. I look you're, like... You're blushing a little bit right now. <laughs> so that's what makes you look okay, like it. Ever, if you don't want to answer that, have you ever had your ass eaten? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you like it? Any fingers go up there? No. no uh, first knuckle. Mm-hmm. Of a pinky? Uh, I think it was the index. Okay. okay. Right there. And that was, woo, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's exciting. So she didn't even get to touch your G-spot. No. That, so yeah. It's a little crazy. And then you I, can't knock it till you try it. No, I'm not knocking it. Uh-huh. I'm just a little scared of it. But I did go to a massage, a rub and tug once where they try to make you come just by doing your ass. Oh, just prostate. And I actually, yeah, prostate massage, they yeah, call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did she get in there? 
No, so I said, whoa, 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 yeah. 120 bucks was for the strokey woke, yeah. you know? Yeah. And she said, oh, sure, we can do that if you want. Where was that? I'm so jealous that guys get all these, This like, was in happy, Montreal. Happy ending massage My places, and there's, like, none for girls. Mm. Yeah. I want a happy ending massage. It's unfair. But I, I like to have... No, in, uh, where were we? In Bali, yeah. we met these girls and they said, oh yeah, there's this place for girls only and it's it's really hot jack guys that no just rub, rub the clip. No, I'd still want it to be a girl. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh. I, I feel like girls... Like, I think she's made that very clear this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're very lesbian. I mean, I feel like girls, like when it comes to something like an erotic massage would be... Like, because I would want it to be like still gentle and sensual, and I feel like a guy would just be too aggressive. Because sometimes mm -hmm. guys can definitely be too rough with the fingers and stuff. Guys need a tutorial on how to touch they a do. clit because mm -hmm. uh -huh. everyone and I did. I'm I'm guilty from my past. You know, we all think we have to the press DJ, hard, like you're like you're DJing. Yeah, mm -hmm. like we're DJing <laughs> on really old turntables. But oh, really, man. tell me if I'm wrong. It's gentle. Yes, yes, circular. Correct. Yeah, at yes. least just to start, because I, I like it. I, I, I can enjoy it being more rough, but you definitely need to ease into that. Ease you can't into just it. go right into it. No, like no, that. No, 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 no. And like two, three minutes on the clit, and then enter. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, just mm -hmm. the biggest thing is just don't rush it. No. So you're good at eating pussy. I mean, I. Yeah. I would think so. Yes, you are. I try. I definitely try my best. You're literally one of the best in the world. Rhetorical Thank question. You. Thank you. Can Sounds you like you watched a lot of it. <laughs> Big fan. Yeah. You watch? Do you watch girl girl porn? What kind of porn do you watch? I go through like you know, I like a, a POV boy girl. Have you seen me tongue fuck a pussy? Yes. Okay. All I do on my OnlyFans is POV. Mm. All that's all we want. Yeah. POV shot properly where it's full frame the whole time, mm -hmm. never moving, and it almost looks like it's you know it's like VR ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We like have you, that. Have you the guy watched? stays pretty quiet, right? The, yes. It's all the girl. Yep, that's there we exactly go. what I do. Reverse cowgirl. Mm hmm. Yeah. Have you watched VR porn? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I I did it yesterday. Have you ever watched my VR porn? Have you? I, I'm on Bedoink and Wanks. Yeah, I'm on both of those. Oh yeah. So I shot. Huh. I was like really committed. Liam, to, like, I can't go to Barney's after I got plans. <laughs> <laughs> I I shot a lot of VR porn, and it's really like hard to shoot VR porn good I've as heard. a talent. But I was committed to like being good at it. So I well, I have an Oculus, and I watched my own just to for the sake of critiquing myself. And it was the weirdest thing ever watching myself suck my own dick <laughs> i was so it was so like jarring i was like i was just watching it thinking like okay let's just see how my angles are and then i like she comes up in my face and i like couldn't make eye contact with myself i was like it's so it's so such a weird experience to like watch yourself in vr so the thing that they need to work on but but doing's getting better at it is where the dick is in the vr uh, and we want it all to line up where our dick is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes... Is it like too long? Or? Sometimes it's below... It's here and you're like, this is a wasted scene. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you know what? It's the, the Neil blowjob with the guy standing. They always fuck that one up. Ah. Uh, and they... I'll they, let them know. Yeah. And then they do two types of missionary. Uh -huh. One up close and then yeah. one far away. Yeah. The far away one's too far. But the up mm. close is decent. Okay. Is it weird when they're like in your ears, like whispering and stuff? Or? The kiss needs to stop too. Okay, that, thank you. I thought that too. They always make me do it. And it feels so awkward because you're just right there. And, and the motorboat needs to stop. Okay. Oh, anything close is like. It's yeah. Ow. Yeah. Weird. Can you stop hitting me. Yeah. You know, too close. Have you ever watched like orgy VR porn? Like multiple girls? Yeah. No, where there's just like a bunch of people in the room fucking. I think that's. Oh, cool. like peeping tom type shit. No, like you're it. You're present in the room. And, you know, people might be engaging with you, but it's just cool to look around the room and see like 10 different people all fucking around you. Maybe that's just because I like orgies, but do you like orgies? Yeah, I haven't got to experience them a lot. But when I have watched VR porn, uh, especially because I'm a woman, there's not a lot of VR porn that's shot from the point of view of a woman. Mm. So then I'll just do. Like, yeah, there's a, there's one of, company doing like it voyeuristic. where like Jason Love fucks you. Really? Did he do VR porn? I'm, I think. So. Well, I don't know. But it's a lot of black guys on there. Okay. For, for, I like how you for, whisper that like it's offensive. Yeah. Black guys. Just, I don't say, know. just say black guys. We're trying so hard not to get canceled, but we <laughs> dance on the line every week. You seem like a very cancelable person. I look, but I am cancelable. too. I am too, this so I nice. can't hate. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? I feel like we're all just like right on the edge all the time. Oh, yeah. I think I've already been canceled like ten times, but every time I get canceled, I make more money on OnlyFans. It's almost so trendy. it becomes worth it. Yeah. It's almost trendy now to be canceled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all want to get canceled. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, you you have uh, this. Is why I'm a big fan of you is you have this sweet girl next door vibe, and then when you fuck, you go a little crazy. Okay, I'll take it, I'll and that's it. cool. See, I'm just crazy, 
and I fuck even crazier. I love that. That's yeah. that's a great brand. That's been my brand. I love it. Sells really well. I believe it. Yeah. I didn't know you were this crazy though. I thought. Did you not do your research on me? <laughs> not really. What? Well, I looked at your Instagram. You know. Yeah. Well, you sent me the Antonio Brown thing in. Yeah, that yeah. while we were talking, I popped I, up. Yes. Yeah, so my what, pussy what? drove Antonio Brown so crazy he quit the NFL. I love that. For you. <laughs> like the that's, ne- that's real power. We <laughs> fucked the night before he ran off the field of the Jets game, and he filmed the entire thing. Uh-huh. It only lasted thirty seconds. He only lasted thirty. Only seconds? thirty seconds. He's fast on and off the field. <laughs> he literally only lasted thirty seconds. Thirty seconds when I gave him head and when we fucked. That's... And then the next day he quit the NFL, and I know it was my vagina. Wow, it just drove him that's... insane. So I feel like the people who want to, like, rig the games need to just hire you to go, like, fuck with the players. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Yeah. You can make a whole career do you know out of how, life. Do you know like. how many NFL players slid my DMs after that? And I was thinking there's no way in hell they would do it because I just the, put I the know, video out there. That's funny that so they would. So you did would, put it out? Yeah, I put it out. So. I made, like, 300 grand off that video. It's out, like, there's a tape of you fucking Antonio Brown on OnlyFans? You have to subscribe to my OnlyFans page, but yeah, it's there. And it's actually him? Yeah, but it's only but 30 it's only seconds, 30 but it's actually <laughs> him. Wait, he was down to be... He, I was in the hotel room, I got there, and he said, you have an OnlyFans, right? I was like, yep, and he pulls out, he grabs my phone, my phone, not even his, grabs my phone, turns on the flash, films the entire thing. So he was down for it. He was oh, so, down for so it. it's POV? Yeah, it's POV, your favorite. Okay. You would love it. You would love it. So is he doing porn now or is this a one-off? I don't, I think I'm the only one who has that out there with him. That's funny Rockstar. that more NFL guys would hit you up after. Oh my God, I got so Well, because you said he, he quit right after. So why would uh-huh. they want to like flush their careers down the toilet? I mean, I guess just to experience a pussy that powerful? I guess so. Honestly, I think. Is it as good as valid. Antonio, as she says? It's bomb, <laughs> bomb ass pussy? Dude, he, had, he was fucking like three different girls a weekend. He had 400 bodies and then he fucked me. And it all stopped. You didn't have to fuck anyone else ever again. Uh, so can I have a turn? <laughs> yes, too. I'm like, I know you don't really shoot girl girl. Maybe I can change. Maybe I can make you from like maybe by to full by. Yeah. I would like I would like to be up for that challenge. You could try it. Speaking of celebrities and athletes, mm-hmm. have you dabbled? I feel like you reject a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, in the beginning of my career, when they all kind of start flooding, like the the new girls. Then yes. Yes, but I very quickly was just like, you know, this isn't this isn't. Yeah, me. celebrity dick sucks. Yeah, they feel like because they are because they're famous, they don't have to try hard. No, and they usually but have small dicks. The one who actually surprisingly was good was Chris Brown. How many bitches have fucked Chris Brown? I mean, every, every single one. one has. Every, every single has. one. Yeah, every, it's a rite of passage like getting into porn. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Chris Brown, yeah. Crazy. But surprisingly, he was the best in Red And best. everyone says he fucks good, too. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, and the, fir- the first night that I went to his house, we everyone's partying there and I was like getting tired I wanted to leave but he's like oh no like you don't need to worry about going like you if you want to go to bed because everyone's downstairs partying he's like you can go up and sleep in my room and I was like okay he goes up types in the code to his room opens the door he's like all right good night shuts the door and goes back down to party and I was like you don't even know me like I'm just like Mm. I I could be like some crazy person see I didn't and I then I, I did like I went to go use his bathroom and I like could like peeked in his closet and he had all his shit out and I just like went to bed. I didn't do anything. But You're then, so stupid for that. Well, then no. It's so later I met a girl who had like done that and she was like, oh, yeah, I totally robbed him. And I was like, what? And mm-hmm. She, was, she like, said, oh, I robbed she, him. Who? She said, I, I can't remember wh- which performer it was, but she was like, he oh. knows and he doesn't care. And I was like. He just doesn't even care that these girls are going in here and just taking shit. You had way too much respect. For that. So wait, a girl that like I know, you know, like robbed Chris Brown. She just like took stuff from his house. A lot of girls do. Wait, that's apparently. normal. I guess so. What I, the fuck? I didn't even. I didn't even like. I just couldn't. I don't know. So you were his favorite. She's like, wow, this girl didn't rob me. I don't know if he even. Do knows girls rob people? I attention. do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing. Fuck yeah. yeah. I I wasn't gonna do it, but I was like, you're kind of asking for it. Like that sounds fucked he up. Would, he wanted you to rob him. He, he would just like let me in his room and shut the door. And yeah, he's just, just used to it at this point. I would have filled my pockets up with everything. I would have walked right the fuck out. I, I because was, he wasn't gonna let. He wasn't gonna film you guys having sex for OnlyFans. So it's not like you're gonna make money off the experience. Yeah, no. And if you're not gonna make money off it, you might as well rob him. I I don't know. You're t- you're a terrible person. <laughs> Terrible people fuck really great. It's just facts. Okay, who else we got? So C Breezy. Um Have you ever fucked anyone from Jersey Shore? No. I have. I haven't. I don't they, think I've they, ever... Vinny likes a lot of the OnlyFans porn girls. Really? He's yes. cute. Doesn't he isn't he like married now or something? No. Okay. Vinny though, I would not suggest fucking. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Good pretty to know. pretty traumatizing. Don't go there. Really? Why? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, well, you know, he told me he liked really rough sex. I was only 19 years old. Oh. I went over to his house and he was like, oh, I really want to do it rough. And I was like, pulled up. Kimmy Granger likes it rough. And I showed him that video. And I was like, like this? And he was like, no. And he pulled up videos of girls getting fucked in dog cages, throwing up into the dog bowls and then eating the vomit, like getting face fucked so hard they puke into the dog bowl. Oh, my God. And he was like, I want to do this to you. And he had no furniture in his house except for a dog cage. And he said, you should go in there. And I was like, you know what? Did you? So you went to his house. He showed you the dog cage. He showed me the cage. That's wow. wild. They, Little people, Vinny. People Isn't look, he like 5'2"? He is. <laughs> people love to talk about like girls who like being choked and spanked to having like, oh, like... Do you, you like you, that? You, yeah, yeah. But people like to think like, oh, you must have like some weird sexual trauma to like that. But then meanwhile, there's guys out there who like stuff like that. I don't know Crazy. any girls who actively seek out stuff like that. So with him, I'm no. like, okay, what kind of trauma do you have? Like, Did you ever you? have any He's traumatizing, you know, celebrity experiences like with any um, guys like that who wanted you to do any sick, crazy shit? No, but I like when I was like first in and I was hanging out with like rappers and influencers, mm-hmm. I did have like an influencer guy get fucked up and like give me bloody nose. <gasps> wait, 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 what happened? Uh, He was just like fucked up and he was already like weird vibes. He was like, punching you? He, yeah, he like hit me in the face. I had to like, ru- I had to, like fight this guy. No, we were, he was trying to like he was trying to like force himself on me basically. <gasps> and I was like trying to get out of there. Yeah. And you was, don't want to say his name? Cause I think you should. No. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> you don't want to get in trouble? Like this. Oh, I know who he yeah. is. He like puts himself out there. It's like this like guy who loves animals and he's like Steve Irwin. Like, you know, he like loves. He's like, like a Steve Irwin. He like kind of marks himself as like kind of like a. Like oh, I know who it is. Guy. Yeah, so. Nice guys are usually not nice yeah, guys. Yeah, but yeah, he just was like being really forceful. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go. He's like, no, you have to stay. You have to stay. And he's like pulling on me. And I like pushed him and it turned into like this whole thing. And I left there with like, like I said, I was like, I had bloody nose and everything. And I was. Oh, my out. God. Yeah. I know. So after that, the I, poor like, animals must get abused. I know for real. So yeah. after that, I like who stopped. knows what he's doing with those animals. After and now that, I, don't know. I stopped hanging out with like any like influencer guys or famous people because they're all fucking weird right yeah that i mean there was like other little stuff leading up to that that i had like experiences and then after that i'm like i'm done with this so Mm -hmm. now i'm just you know keeping to myself do you like fucking like regular guys when you do fuck guys um yeah i have like a i have like an ex that i just kind of hook up with Mm -hmm. still so oh yeah is does he have a new girlfriend he did for a minute so so you were mistressing No, I wasn't the. I, he was. Okay. He's loyal. Okay. But now that they're broken up, and now I can fuck. Wow, him. who's this ex? Right. Sounds like a legend. Uh, he's just like he's someone I I didn't go to high school with, but he went to high school with my friends, and I've just like it's like someone. I'm not at the point now where I'm like not really like hooking up with random people as much. He's a normie though. Yeah, but he's like someone Normies I've known have the for best a long dick. time. They have the best. Yeah, dick. he has the best. He is like one of the only guys to ever make me squirt. Mm-hmm. Like he's from his dick. What? Or no, from f- the f- fingers. Okay. Fingers, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But so I just go back to my ex because that's healthy. He's you know? here in LA. No, he's he's in Utah. Oh, so you travel for the dick? Well, I live in Utah. Oh, She's I travel here. here. I travel here for work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got so it. So there's not a lot of options in Utah, especially where in the city that I live in. So Utah. I feel like there's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. She li- she lives like ten minutes from me, and Emily Willis is from St. George too, the city. Oh, Emily like, Willis. Yeah. How is she doing? Our hearts go out for Emily Willis. Um, from what I heard, she's she's out of the hospital. And I think she's doing better. Oh yeah. Good. Oh fuck. From from just from from like what Spiegler has told me. So oh, well, I hope she is doing better. Fucking amazing. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Spiegler. Yes. How you got in the industry is insane. Why? So you were working a nine to five. Yes. Then on your lunch break, uh-huh. you called the Spiegler people uh-huh. and you said, "I need to come meet you guys." Yeah. And then you t- booked a week off work. You drove to yep. L.A. Yep. Car. Yep. Shot your first scene that week. Yep. Never looked back. Yep. Basically. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> but what I didn't know when I was like, this is like back, you know, 2017. And I'm, I, I was texting you today. I'm technologically challenged. Right. So I don't know. You are like, not. I am. So obviously you shouldn't be Googling like porn stuff on your work computer. Right. So <laughs> as, as, as I'm like at work, that was my first like office job I ever had. So I didn't know these rules about like not looking up certain things on your work computer. But I was looking up like porn I thought agents. that would be a given, you know? I know, right? But yeah. I, I wasn't that smart, obviously. So, mm-hmm. but I mean, it worked out. I've never had a real job, so. <laughs> but I was like Googling all this stuff, trying to like find information. And yeah, that's when I went out and, and called him. But then later I found out my boss like found all that on my computer. So where, where were you working at the time? Uh, a solar company. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. In, in Utah? Mm-hmm. So how come after now you blow up as a porn star six years, how come you're not in LA? 
Um, I, well, I mean, I have a, I spend like a week out of each month out here. I rent a place out here, but I just love Utah. It's so peaceful. And is it that you love Utah or is it that you hate the only people? No, not, not necessarily. It's okay out here. Like I don't hate it or love it. Like it's, it's work and I enjoy my time out here, but then at the end of it, I'm definitely excited to get back to Utah. Have you you go been? back to your old high school. No, no, I was supposed to be there this week for skiing. Oh really? Where yeah. do you ski? I, I'm, I'm a snowboard guy. My all my no, best friends are there. Which which, which uh, resort? Head, Sundance, Salt. Uh, City. What Lake is it? City? Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. Well, Salt Lake City would probably be. Uh, I don't know the ones up there, but probably Sundance or, or Sundance. Yeah, Sundance. I was supposed I, to be at Sundance. Well, we were gonna do like three different hills. I snowboard too. So if you if you go, then let's go snowboard together. Okay, I, I suck at it. But I, I might go Sunday. Because they're there till Tuesday. Well, I'm I'm gonna be here until Tuesday. So. Shit. Shit. You, have to come you back snowboard out. too? Barely. I can like I can I can like I'm a beginner. I've Let me it. tell you the hottest fucking thing that gets when a girl's in like a nice sexy snowboard outfit. Uh-huh. My boyfriend she, tells me that all the she's time. She's got her goggles, you You're, know. So you like her fully clothed? Yeah, but okay. like in a, a girl, like a girl that knows how to fucking. So many girls I've taken snowboarding. They're like, I'm good. I can keep up. They can't toe turn. Yeah, it drives me fucking crazy. You know. Yeah. Girls that can snowboard and they got like a tight fit. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's hot. I mean, girl, girl. So I need to do an OnlyFans video in like a snowboard suit is what you're telling me. Absolutely. I like those videos gotcha. too. Like yeah. blowjob on the snowmobile, shit like that. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah. I I definitely need to practice more, but maybe once I get better. Then we'll go. Okay. So what, will you teach instruct me? There. Yeah, will you teach me? I would love to. We can film something. Oh. Ooh. My snowboard instructor. There we Ooh. go. You can peg me on the hill. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Guys, remember the days when you were always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up. BlueChew.com. BlueChew is the unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Cialis, Viagra, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or you can just be ready for when the opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. And the best part, it's all done online. So no weird visits to the doctor, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at the pharmacy. BlueChew's tablets are made in the USA, and they're prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Boys, you know me. I don't back products I don't love, and this one is probably my favorite. BlueChew changed my life, and I want it to change yours. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. So discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And are they ever hooking the boys up? This is probably the best deal I'll ever offer you guys. You won't believe it. Bluechew.com is offering your first month free. Just pay the $5 shipping and you get free. So that's bluechew.com, promo code Pillow Talk, and you get to try it for free. What are you waiting for? You have to do this. Visit bluechew.com for more details and safety information. And we thank you, Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. If there's one thing I'm forcing you, begging you to try, it's this right here, it's Bathmate. They finally got a dick pump that works. I use this three times a week. My penis is bigger, my penis is longer, my penis is girthier, and I'm not making this up. I swear on my mother's life, this thing changed my fucking life. You fill it up with water in the shower, you go in here, you suck it in, and boom, you pop the water out, and it pulls your dick, it pulls all the blood cells out of it, and it rejuvenates your fucking cock. I'm not making this up. It changed my absolute life. I fucking love this thing. This is bath mate. When you go on, please put your real size in. No shame. No one's making fun of you. I put my real size. I don't give a fuck. I'm not a huge dick. I am now. I'm going to have to order a bigger one now because I swear to God, my penis grew a little bit this way, but a lot that way. And I walk around with so much more fucking confidence. The best part of using bath mate is you get an instant bigger cock after your first use. Every guy should use this, no matter how big your cock is. If you're nine inches, you'll be 10. If you're five, you'll be six. This is just a godlike rock star experience for your penis and for the girl's vaginas. We have a link below. Please click it, please order it. This changed my life and I want it to change yours. Send me a DM, send me a dick pic if you want of how much bigger it got after using Bathmate. Bathmate, thank you, I love you. I love it. So scenes, what's the wildest shit you've done some, cause I feel like, you know, you're so, you blew up so fast, respect. That you didn't have to go through the fucking nitty gritty of like, you know, when you first start out, everyone's doing mm-hmm. shit they don't want to do. Mm-hmm. But have you done some wild shit? Um, I, yeah, I haven't done like a lot of really extreme scenes. Like, like the most extreme thing I ever did was a blow bang. 
and only did one. How many guys? Uh, I think there was five. Okay. That sounds but awesome to me. It was cool, though, because, like, you know, in a blow bang, you're just on your knees sucking the dick. I'm like, what can we do to make this, like, more, you know, fun? Sucking dick's my favorite thing. Yeah, I know. But, like, I'm trying to think of, like, ways to make it creative and, like, do something different. Because there's, yeah. like, not, there's only so many variations of sucking dick you could do. So, I mean, unless, Some might and, say. Okay, well, maybe I need to take some notes from you, but... Subscribe. No, not, not <laughs> after what Vi- Myers told us. She said you're the queen at blowjobs. Girl, you really do have a long tongue. I'm sure you can do a lot with that. I mean, like I said, I got to make up for my lack of deep throating mm-hmm. somehow, so... But maybe she, I can take a deep throat so lesson humble. from you, and you mm-hmm. can take some, like, tongue trick lessons from me. Oh, hell yeah. So we can exchange some skills That will here. make my boyfriend very happy. Perfect, perfect. Maybe we can practice on him? <laughs> you can, it would be his dream come true. Perfect. So tell us the blow bang. Oh, okay. So I used to do gymnastics, so I'm always, like, trying to incorporate, like, acrobatic And cheerleading? Stuff. Yeah, and cheerleading and dance. See? So, Big fan. Um, we did, like, I was like they were I like did a cartwheel up to this guy and he like caught me under my hips and lifted me up so I was like in a split like with my face facing away from him so I'm upside down right and like my pussy's out so like they're like all like eating me out but while they're like taking turns this guy's like rotating me around and while they're like all taking turns eating me out I'm just like he's just like and you're sucking dick sucking each dick yeah wow it's like a like a a merry-go-round that's a new one (laughs) yo that is new I've never seen it yeah no, I, sh- I shot this scene a few years ago, but like I said, I only did one. No, that's so. fucking cool. But yeah, you'll that is good. Out. People are, you know, there's everyone's done so much fucked up shit. It's hard to come up with new things. Yeah, exactly. I was like trying to be creative and it's it, it can be hard because, I mean, we do have so many amazing people in this industry who do all kinds of crazy. I cool like stuff. that. There's only so. there's like only so many ways you can fuck. Right. And that's the problem. Yeah. That's There's the problem. only yep. so many ways you can do it. And I always find that, too, when I'm creating content. I'm like, what can we do different? Mm-hmm. Because. There's only so many positions, only so many ways to suck you dick, to, you whatever. You take some gymnastics lessons. Yeah. Because once you, once you do that, then you can start getting creative Crazy. with it, too. Yeah. Mm. How good were you at, at gymnastics? Uh, I competed. Oh. Um, I I mean, I made it to level seven, which is just beneath elite, which is like when you train. Elite's like when you're training for like Olympics. But, but you I could mean, like stand right now and do a backflip. Um, like if you're warmed up. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to do it now in a dress with high heels on. But You know what? I dated a gymnast girl for like two months mm-hmm. and she was very like proud of it, you know? Mm-hmm. So we started doing all this stuff. Very fun. Yeah. Like she would Acrobatic do... Acrobatic sex. Yes. It's fun. It's very fun. Yeah. Very fun. Mm-hmm. And she I was like, very creative. I love like handstands. Like I'll just like... like Handstands? Yeah, like being upside down. And I feel like... I don't know. Something about... Wait, you get fucked in a handstand had. ever? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, wow. So like how'd that work? So, like, my favorite way to do it, like, at home is that, like, the guy will be, like, against standing against the wall. You do this at home? Yeah. Wow. So, the guy will be, like, standing against the wall, and I'll kick up to a handstand with my body facing him, and then bend down. So, you know, like, when you twerk on the wall? Yes. It's like that, but there's just a guy there behind you, and you're just, you're fucking him. See, I would think that would be a porn thing, not an at-home thing. I've done it. I've done it in porn, but I've done it at home, too. Wow. Hmm. Wow. I cannot wait to have our VR sex tonight. (laughs) (laughs) Tonight? We're doing it tonight? VR. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm watching you in VR. Oh, I thought we were going to film a VR scene. I'm like, let's fucking go. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Woo <laughs> <laughs> woo! <laughs> Wait, Ryan, do you shoot porn? No. Kind of? No? No, no. What? So no, you're just, just here talking te- all this shit and you're not whipping it. your dick out for money? Nah. What? No. I have shot solos for girls. You know, I held the phone. Stuff like oh, that. okay. I thought you were going to say you shot solos of yourself. <laughs> no, yeah. no one's see I that. I love videos of guys jerking off. No, you don't. Me too. Yes, I do. Yes, I, I do. I get so turned yeah. on watching my boyfriend sound, make the... jerk off videos yes. for his OnlyFans. Like, they got so have hot. the sound on. So many guys mm-hmm. are like, they'll like, it's like dick pics are out, come videos are in. Hell yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's a move I do off cam though. Let's say a girl sends me like a like a thoughtful nude video. A thoughtful nude video. <laughs> you know, not just like <laughs> not a not a slutty sex. A thought a thoughtful one. You know. That's such a wholesome way to describe it. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, th- they say my name in it. I know they're not okay. reusing it. Yeah. That's I mean, there's important. a million people out there named Ryan. They could easily just be selling it yeah. to all the Ryans. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Never thought of that. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I wasn't trying to... Fucking horse. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, I know it's for me. Because yeah. like, I'll be like, I want to see this. You yeah. know, whatever. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll airdrop it to my laptop. And then I'll do a video of me coming... To To the video. Yeah. Oh, that is really, that's really sweet. They love it. Yeah. You know, in the moment while we're like horny and sexting. So you're saying after the moment, they probably wouldn't want to see that. Is it? No, if I sent that out of nowhere, it's fucking weird. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty scary. Right. But in the moment she's like still sending shit, you know. Yeah, I like to do that. I like to sex. I can't remember the last time I sexted besides on for work on OnlyFans. Like there's that, but. 
It's fun. Yeah. I don't do it a lot either, but it makes you, it makes you feel so. Young. I feel like when it's like your job, it's hard to like do it because it's your job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you definitely like have to be in the mood. Like if yeah. I'm like traveling and I haven't like fucked in a while, or like you know, text one of my fuck buddies and mm-hmm. and get into it, and it's fun. If I if but it can only be if I like actually am super horny. But yeah. If you are, then it's really fun. Like mm-hmm. I, I was talking to an adult star, mm-hmm. and sure, she has a million videos online. Mm-hmm. But if she just sends me like an ass pic. Mm-hmm. I'll jerk off to that aspect because it was for me. You can just jerk off to just an aspect. Wait, have you uh, ever jerked off to a girl's Instagram? Because I heard that's very common. I've, every day. Oh, my really? God. Really? Just I, Instagram pictures? I went through a phase where that's all how, I jerked off to. How old to. are you? 31. That's like, that's hmm. like 15 year olds. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it's fun. It's <laughs> fun. Keeps you young. Yeah. Yeah. I could jerk off to anything. Honestly, really? I I've I've jerked off to like poetry. Like you, I can jerk off to a lot of different okay. Things. That yeah, one was like a joke, or you have no for real. Okay, what do you mean by that? What do you mean poetry? Like erotic poetry? Have you ever read erotic poetry? <laughs> no, I can't say I have. You need to. It's like beautiful. <laughs> it's like romantic. So like and... you know the words are like rhyming and shit, and it's like not always, not always. You know? But do you ever read erotica? Like no, a lot of, never... I mean I used to read One Direction sexual fan fiction when I was okay. like fourteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do remember would... back in the day, girls would touch themselves reading Fifty Shades of Grey, that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Hmm. But just words don't do it for me. I could jerk off to anything except words. Put it that way. I could jerk off to this chair. Yeah. But I need a visual. Oh. Visual. But when I'm in tanning beds and I masturbate, I have to use. You masturbate a, in tanning beds. A, I got every, 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 every time. Tanning bed once, and I think Ryan was in it before me. <laughs> well, now I'd be afraid to get pregnant in a tanning bed. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, pregnancy. Let's talk about cream pies. Okay. I my tubes are tied. So. You got I'm your tight. tubes tied, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I. What's that mean? Tubes tied. She can't have kids. I'm sterilized. She's yeah. sterilized. Oh, because yeah. you, ha- you have you have. I love cream pies so much. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I like. I, I, had I to, love I had them to get so it. much too, and I'm not on birth control, and I just love the risk. The yeah. risk turns me on really? so much of yeah, knowing see, yes, I can get pregnant. I love it. It's yeah. I just have to like. I got my tube tied so long ago, so I just try to pretend like I didn't. So because the risk is fun, mm-hmm. but like no, I need to be real. I need to be ovulating. I need. But to my feel mom that. has seven kids, so I can't risk that. No. Sure. So yeah. Hey, by the way, your mom. Yes. Mormon? Yes. Seven kids? Yes. It's a lot of cream pies. I know, mm-hmm. right? Yep. She's never I, heard of a facial? All, all the, uh, for real, though, a lot, of the, a lot of the women in my family are just very, very fertile. So, so. they just, I don't know, fertile or they're just getting fucked a lot. I think, mm-hmm. I think a mix of They get a lot of loads dropped in them. All the women in my them. family are definitely very sexual. I get a load at least once a day. Very Jealous. Nice. At least. See, I need a. I need a. You're lucky you have an OnlyFans boyfriend. I don't oh, have hell that. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Have you. What do you know about Utah? Have you heard of like sister wives or polygamy or anything like yes, that? Yes, I have. Okay. If you guys want a sister wife, I need an OnlyFans. Oh, boyfriend. Emma Hicks is Mormon too. <laughs> She's not currently. Her boyfriend is. He was raised Mormon. He's not Mormon now. He's very Mormon. He's not Mormon now. His parents are the His most family Mormon. Is. Yes, yes, but yes. he himself is not. You can't be Mormon and marry a porn star. You literally can't. He's the guy that did that. Yeah, but he's not actively Mormon. I'm technically still a Mormon. I've never had like my records pulled from the church. Okay, so, so are you kind of like shunned upon when you visit? Um, by the by, the, are you in a gated area like a Mormon community? No, okay. no, it's not. It's they not are like a compound. Emma and her man. I yes. mean, they're they're definitely all of St. George's is, is very Mormon. Right. It's getting more and more diverse. So are you? But because you're still like in the hood, mm-hmm. not hood. But you know what I mean. In the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, the neighborhood. <laughs> is it like, oh my God, like she, I definitely, she had sex without marriage I definitely, on camera. I definitely like lay low in my neighborhood. Like even when I'm like out. Do Mormons even watch porn though? No, no. So would they not. even know? N- um, They wouldn't, but they would know from other people. The gossip. Uh-huh. Well, because even like our phone numbers are linked to our social media. Even if you like yeah. try to not make it that way. Mm-hmm. Cause so many people in my neighborhood have found out that I do porn cause they found my social media cause it was oh. recommended through their contacts. And so now I'm like trying oh. to not give my phone number out. Yeah. Cause then it's like, Oh, your, your contact is it on probably Instagram. probably would have been a good idea before you did porn to change your number. Yeah. But see, yeah. I, I'm afraid to change my number cause I've mm-hmm. had it, had it for so long now, obviously doing porn that the next person who gets my number would be like a kid. They'd or be something. like, Oh my God. And I don't, that, that's what freaks me out. Cause I, cause it would be the another, Dick pics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it would be like another person in my city, mm-hmm. which is like usually like Mormons. And right. Yeah. All the people who are getting new phone numbers is usually like kids, kids. getting their first phone. <laughs> so that's my worst fear. That's why I will not ever get rid of this phone number. Hey, is it true that Mormons do this thing where they stick 
their dick in the pussy. Soaking, it's a myth. It's a myth. It doesn't happen? It's a myth because everyone likes to talk about this. And even people who like go to BYU, which is like the Mormon college, like talk about it. Yeah. But nobody actually sees that as a way around sex because in Mormonism, even making out your bishop will take take away your temple recommend, which is a big deal. Making out is not good. You can't, no, you can't be making out with people. Like, you can, can you kiss? kiss? Can you peck? Yes, yeah. but you can't be, like, making out or, like, even, t- like, even if you touch someone's boobs over their clothes, uh-huh. like, your bishop would still be pissed at you, would still be punished. Wow. So if you stick your penis in a vagina, you're still going to be punished just as much as you would for actually having full penetrative sex. So no one sees that as an out. What about anal? No, you can't be you can't Damn. be naked around each other. You can't like you can't do anything. You can't even, you're not they're not even supposed to be like in in the college. You're not even allowed to have someone of the opposite sex in your standing in your bedroom even mm-hmm. during the daytime with the door open. Like you can't. What is wrong with these fucking people? Well, no offense. No, I no. It's but like, come on, you can't have a girl crazy. in your bedroom and you no, can't peck her. Well, think about it. Like we're all driven by our sexuality, and the more you suppress someone's sexuality, the more control you have over them. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's all it is. It's all about control. Right. So, and yeah. I'm seeing more Mormon porn stars than Muslim porn stars. Yeah. Oh yeah. You a feel of, me? A lot of people who come out of Mormonism definitely either if they don't stay in the church, they kind of like explode into their sexuality. Yeah. Yeah. Someone I recently met, he came out as gay and now he's a gay porn star and he's a Mormon. Well, he was ex Mormon. He's a yeah. He, he got excommunicated though right after he came out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They do and that. the dudes that I know that grew up Mormon are fuck boys. Yeah. Oh, for sure they yeah. are. Yeah. He got married at 18, divorced. Okay. Now he's just on a tear. No, I'm, I can relate to that, d- though, because my mother was super Catholic. Uh, like, we weren't allowed to talk about sex, you yeah, know? Yeah. None of that. Yeah. My mom said she didn't even have sex. And I was like, well, then how did you make me? But, um, you yeah. And then look it. at me. I'm fucking on camera. Yeah. So my mom, when I was like 16, found she went through my room and found condoms in my room. My mom did. And too. then she took them away. And I was like, mom. Do you think I'm just not going to have sex now? Like, because mm-hmm. you took the condoms away? I'm like, you like. Yeah, you now should, I'm getting cream pie should, for reals. You should at least be glad that I'm being safe. <laughs> right. Like, you think I'm be like, oh, shit, she took the condoms away. I can't have sex anymore. Like, no. no. Mm. I was just having unprotected sex. I'm a great parenting decision. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my parents, swear to God, in my life, I was, I don't know why I was shy to tell them I lost my virginity. And they kept asking. I was like, no, no, I'm a How virgin. How old were you? 17. I was 18. Yeah, for Were they okay? With yeah, they were cool with it. I was, I was just weird about it. I don't know why. Mm. And then my dad saw my my chlamydia pills. Oh, you got chlamydia? Uh, you first That's time? 17? Third girl, third girl. Oh. oh. Got the chlamydia. Got the chlamydia. Yeah. <laughs> Big part of it. Actually, I was just talking to a girl yesterday. Right, Terry? And what did she say? <laughs> she said, so she wanted to have an intercourse. Yes. And as a joke, I said, I can't tonight. I have chlamydia. Mm-hmm. And she said, I'm a porn star. That's like a cough to me. Let's go. What? And I thought what? that was a very interesting quote. I no. thought that like porn stars are the cleanest no. people that you would yeah. ever meet. Yeah. Here's yeah. the problem. The problem is everyone's fucking off cam for OF content now with these dudes that are just horny fuck boys but that see, aren't getting tested. Like my boyfriend. I won't work with anyone who's not tested and everyone should be doing that. But the OF collabs is what's fucking the system up. But you can even you can still if you're just doing OF collabs, so you should, still should be getting tested on your partner's shit. No, right. I so yeah, that's because me and my boyfriend we don't do collabs, so we don't have to. Mm-hmm. But I so know you guys are like monogamous. We are monogamous. Wow. That's, uh, you know because I like to keep my you know crazy, overly sexual internet porn life just mm-hmm. on the internet, and then I mean yes, we do have insane sex mm-hmm. off camera, mm-hmm. but I like to keep it you know separate, have some normalcy. We yeah. do want to have kids. Will we scar mm-hmm. them for life? Absolutely. <laughs> But we're going to try our best not to. So do you guys is most I know you only film with each other for OnlyFans Mm -hmm. and then obviously want to have sex off camera. So where do you draw the balance between like work sex and personal life sex? Like, do you feel like you film more sex than you don't? No, I think we have more sex off camera than we do on camera Mm -hmm. because, you know, we're trying to get as creative as possible on camera. Um, honestly, sometimes I feel like our on camera sex can be hotter because yeah. we'll like fuck in a gym, yeah, yeah. fuck in a public place, yeah. fuck at the library, yeah. fuck in the car, fuck in the back of an Uber. Yeah, you get to so be creative. It's, it's more sexy and I think it's almost hotter. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, our regular sex, we're doing it so much. We're like rabbits that mm-hmm. we kind of get numb to it after the 17th time <laughs> that night. And it's kind of like, OK. But, I like, it brings a lot you. of spice to it when we're yeah. filming it, you know? No, I love that. I need to find an OnlyFans boyfriend, apparently, because mm-hmm. I'm not getting laid. That's or the cheap girlfriend. Friend. Or girlfriend. Wait, yeah. so Mr. Utah Boy, he doesn't POV for you? Um, no. His family's Mormon, so. 
Oh. <laughs> he can't. <laughs> really? Fuck. So would he get excommunicated for having sex with you? No, he he himself oh. is not Mormon, but gotcha. his family is. Mm-hmm. And if they found out that he was doing that, it, they would. But how would they identify his? They dick? would stone him. Uh, it it's not. It's like. People just find out. It yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, people yeah. would just know. Like, mm-hmm. even if one of his exes saw his dick, they would recognize it. And yeah. they would, like, call his parents because girls like to do stuff So you like don't that. shoot any boy girl in Utah? Um, I have before. There was, there was like, one or two performers in St. George, like, only fans, people in St. George. And you're like, oh, um, fuck, I got to use the Utah guy. No, no, he, he was okay, but he was like, it was like a couple and they broke up. So now I'm just like, I'd rather keep the girl than the guy. Oh, she so. won. She won you in the divorce. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> See, true, I, was true always on, I was on her side to begin with, for sure. So, okay. So, but now who are you shooting with boy, girl? You have to come to LA and use male performers? Yeah, I just come out here. Well, I just shot a boy, girl, girl with Violet today. Oh yeah. Who was so, the dude? I forgot his name. She said that too. Shit. It was, <laughs> it was, it, uh, I don't have my phone in here. What? I think it's Robbie Echo. It's, it wasn't Robbie Echo. It was a black No, that performer. was the small dicker. No, he was really good. I feel bad for not for forgetting. But it was my first time meeting him or hearing of him anything. But he was great. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, he sounds amazing. He was, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was really good. I wish I could remember. I feel like an asshole. Wow. Boys, do I have something special for you? I got the hookup of the year. Where are my weed boys at? I smoke weed. I take edibles. This is Via Hemp Company, my favorite in the world. I wouldn't partner with them if I didn't fucking love it. I'm addicted to this. This is high love. It is an aphrodisiac weed gummy. And the best part is they ship to all 50 states discreetly to your door in case anyone's... This is the best thing in the fucking world. These gummies here, it invigorates blood flow through your whole body and it uplifts the romantic side of things. This is the only weed gummy in the world that does this. Via hemp, it's unbelievable. And these guys are dedicated to their customers with their third party testing. These are award winning, best in the world, seriously. And you don't need a medical card for this, boys. You just go on their website, you order. We have the description in the bio. Try this at home alone, but I recommend you guys try it with the ladies, seriously. And the best part, I'm giving you 15% off with my code Pillow Talk, or if you click that link, and a free sample. So please use it. It's unbelievable. Buy a hemp. I'm addicted to this stuff. I'm gonna take one right now. You wanna know what changed my life? This right here, Popstar. I've been taking them every single morning for the past two months. I just got a fresh new bottle. Changed my absolute life. You boys need to try it. This is doctor developed. It's stronger, more intense orgasm. Sex has been so much more pleasurable for me and my, now that I'm single, multiple partners. It increased my confidence in the bedroom and I have larger, more ejaculate semen loads. And the best part, my ladies love this. When I do a little facial, my cum tastes like pineapples. It's healthy, it's doctor tested. These people that made this are geniuses. Doctors made this stuff. And the best part, if you don't love it, if you don't adore it as much as I do, they're giving a 60 day money back guarantee, so it's risk free. So I wanna thank you genius doctors that created this. Boys, please try it, I really encourage it. Money back guarantee, popstarlabs.com, code pillow talk, get 20% off, I hooked the boys up. Please try this, it's fucking incredible. Wow, who's your favorite male performer to shoot with? Um. Damon Dice is great. Wow. Uh, Seth Gamble. Oh, uh, you like the cute boys. Well, I mean, they're just like easy and professional. And then Jack Slayer, Rob Piper. Rob Piper? Yeah. Really? He's, he's really sweet. Okay. He, he's the only guy I've ever shot with during a scene. And I said, I love you. Tim, I definitely did not love him, but the sex was so good and passionate that it just like kind of came out. I've been there. He's you know not a I mean? passion guy. That's the first, he we were boyfriend. We, we only knew each other for a week and we were fucking so good that we just, just kept could, saying I love you. It just kept yeah, coming out. Yeah, I definitely like I'm not, I, wow. I really like Rob Piper. I'm not in love with him, but the sex was so passionate. We have really good chemistry though. The sex mm-hmm. was so good and passionate that it. I just kind of. Have you guys fucked off camera? No. No. Because I've been on one of his sets. Yeah. I go on porn sets. Yeah. And I watched Rob Piper destroy yeah. a girl. And I, that was, <laughs> so you're telling me it's passionate. I just, I see that guy as a fucker. Yeah. Yeah. I think it depends on who. Maybe he really likes with, you. He probably really likes no, you. I mean, yeah, we, like I said, we have great chemistry. So I feel like we have different sex. Cause I've heard other girls say that they, you know, he fucked them. Yeah. That their experience was different and yeah. that he, you know, maybe wouldn't look him in the eye as much or make out with them. And I'm like, that's all we do the whole time. Yeah. So. He likes you. He wants to wife it. Well, well, I like him too. So it worked out. I don't love oh. him though. <laughs> Would you date a male performer? No, never. Why? Whoa. You said that fast. <laughs> 
I can't tell you like how many people in this industry I've seen who who date and it just it I've rarely seen it end up working in their favor. Really? With you, it, it's different. Like OnlyFans being like an like. I mean, yeah, because I got porn. I ended up getting my boyfriend fired from his job, and he had to do yeah. OnlyFans with me. But I mean, that's different than so doing different. like mainstream porn and yeah. meeting another mainstream performer and dating when you're both like deep into the performer pool because mm. he's not working with other people. No. You're not, you know. Yeah. But no. Why well, you get a little jelly? That. No, I don't. They do. Uh, I'm not a jealous person. I'm not monogamous or jealous at all. I've like never had an issue. I heard me and Malkova had that experience. Something was going on there. I don't know her. You don't know. Yeah, I I just I heard something that like you know her ex would be a little bit controlling. Yeah, a lot of the guys in this industry are like that. But then they'll be out there, you know, shooting nonstop. Very hypocritical. Yeah. So I'm. Or mostly what they do is they ah they they create a no list for their girl. Yeah, no, not I, this see, fucking I'm, guy. I'm not letting anyone tell me what to do with my career. Because you know what? Manuel crazy. told me. He's like... <laughs> oh, Manuel. <laughs> yeah. I just, I actually just shot with him on Monday. Amazing. And Ryan Reed. So I've, I have oh, that's a good... I'm yeah, gonna, I'm it, gonna, it was incredible. I'm going to watch that. It was so good. Yeah, she's hot. She's so hot. Yeah, she is. She's my favorite girl to fuck, like, ever. We, her and I fucked like five, ten times off camera. I think she's like you. She's so you more fuck the all the girls off camera, but you won't fuck the guys off camera. Is yeah. what you're saying. So <laughs> yeah, you definitely basically. are a lesbian. <laughs> well, not a lesbian. I still like. I still like having sex with guys. Yeah, but but yeah. you prefer girls. It seems sure. Like. Yeah, yeah. So Manuel told me because when he first got with Caden, that he was like, okay. It's cool. I fuck all the time. I don't mind that she did, mm-hmm. but not the new motherfuckers because the young little shits, yeah. I'd see them at the parties, a locker room talk. They go, yeah. hey, I just fucking cream pied your wife yesterday. Ha, they, ha, don't ha. Have, they don't have respect. Right. Like, yeah, like but he goes, OGs. you know, my friend Kieran, I actually don't mind if he fucks my wife. Does, Ke- does Kieran fuck his wife? No, she, she, she quit. She stopped. Caden. Caden's out. Yeah. Yeah. She's just like directing now. Now so. she's just directing. Mm-hmm. But he was like, the older guys like Scott Nails, J Mac, mm-hmm. the people he's known forever, they'll mm-hmm. be like, oh yeah, it was a good scene. J Mac is really good. Yo. He slid in my DMs once. He's really He's yeah. getting if, a lot of love. If you start shooting with other guys, he's definitely a good one to shoot with. I don't think I'm going to do that to my boyfriend. <laughs> you don't want her to fuck other guys? Oh. No. No. Okay. I'll tell you the list, okay? I like to share. I've been asking around who's your favorite people to fuck. Mm -hmm. This is the list in in order. J Mac. Yeah, J J Mac's up there. I I just worked with him for the first time. Otherwise, I would have said him. Okay. But he definitely, he's up there for me too. Alex Jones, new guy coming in hot. Rookie of the year, I'd say. He's not new. He's been for a long time. This is his year, though. Okay. He's hot right now. Okay. Hollywood Cash. Is he black? Yeah. Okay. Nice, good, straight dick. (laughs) You're so aggressive. (laughs) Right, like like you're trying to fist someone. Yeah. Scott Nails. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Do people tell you that? Like when you first got in, like, hey, listen, you know, you look like a supermodel. Saying like too pretty for porn. Yeah. I've seen them say that to me and other girls all the time. And that's the most ridiculous thing to me. I'm like, do you want to jerk off to ugly girls? (laughs) There are guys who do want to do that. My ex was super into that. Why? I have no idea. I never understood that. It's because it's, it's like they're, he, it's like they're degrading them almost in a way. I don't really know. But I feel like maybe it's more relatable to them okay. because yes. they know they could never Approachable. get it exactly. Yeah. But yeah, when they're like, "Oh, you're way too pretty for porn," I'm like, "What do you like? I'm. Do you want me to apologize for that? <laughs> it's just so bizarre to me. Like that. Like, okay, hey, go jerk off to someone ugly then. Like, yeah. get out of my get out of my page. No, I hear, it. I, and I'm happy finally. 2024, porn's like becoming more mainstream and all these beautiful girls oh, are yeah. coming there's in. there's so many hot girls right now. It's yeah. crazy. Because back in the early 2000s, there was like four really hot ones mm-hmm. and we all just watched those four. Yeah. You know? And it, now there's so many Now it's girls. like, fuck. We need more <laughs> hot guys now. There's not, I mean, we have we have some some good hot ones, but like there's, there's like, I could name like 10 hot guys. Yeah. And the rest are not. And then there's like a hundred. Have you, have you worked with Jordy? Who, I don't know who that Jordy is. Jordy Elnino? Uh-uh. He's the guy that looks like a little boy. Oh, no, no, I haven't worked with him. <laughs> yeah, no, I know who you're talking about, but I feel like he mostly works with, like, milfy... Hottest guy, girls. Johnny? Johnny Sins? Yeah. Yeah, he's, I mean, I... He was in my DMs, too. Yeah, he's definitely up there. He's really hot, but he also is just genuinely so fucking nice. Like, he's a really good guy. Okay, tell us this. This is something we do every episode. It's usually our viral clip. Uh, worst experience on set? Maybe something embarrassing, something funny? Um... Something crazy, something wild, something banana sandwich. Yeah, I think uh, probably the first time I ever shot with Riley Reed. I don't know. This is like so much TMI. I like it. Okay, so I was shooting a a three way girl scene with Riley Reed, and, and I was Riley Reed and um, was it 
uh, Abby Maley, I think maybe, I don't remember who the other person was. Okay. Um, but anyways, it was my first time shooting with her and we were like just becoming friends and she was so big and I was brand new and I was like so nervous. And like I said, it was a three way girl scene and we're on set for a long time. And I started my fucking period <gasps> on set. No. Yeah. Oh. And it was like on her. And you I didn't was have so... the makeup sponges? Well, it, I know I had just started. Like yeah. it wasn't like I started that morning. I didn't know it was yeah. coming. Like it just happened. And all of her, her face on, where it, it was on, it was like what do you mean on, on Riley. On like her. it was like, I don't know. I was, we were like shooting stills and it just got on her and I was mortified. Like on her mouth? No, I think it was like just like on her armor. Like, ah, or something. Fuck, I don't who know. Cares? But I was, just, I was brand new and I was embarrassed. Because you're with this idol. And it was fucking Riley Reed. And yeah. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm going to do this on her <laughs> set. Like anyways. And then she was like, she was like, it's okay. Like I, I think it's sexy. And like, Ah, yes. Oh yeah. I, I was like so embarrassed but shocked and like turned on so many feelings at once. And then we became like really good friends after that too. Oh, but, that's hot. But she like made me feel so comfortable and and it wasn't a big deal, but like you know, me being new, I was And that's one of your like homie homies, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was one of her bridesmaids at her wedding. Oh. Yeah. She's she's the best. Pasha, cool guy. Yeah. Cool guy. Yeah. We gotta get you a Pasha. Get what? We gotta get you a Pasha. It sounds get like she's a, a girl. She's a girl. Yeah. Get, we, get me a Riley. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yo. She goes, I'm not a lesbian. I'm not a lesbian. I only want girls. Riley, if things don't work out, then I'll be I'll be your next <laughs> husband. Could you wife a that's... girl though? Like marry yeah, a woman? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Also, that was rude. I hope her and Pasha stay together and are very happy. See, she went and found a regular guy who doesn't do porn and she's extremely happy. So it sounds like mm-hmm. the porn guys really are toxic. No, he's POV on the low. Oops. Oh, of course he is. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. But you know, he's not in the industry. Yeah, if I were if I were to find like anyone that I date would definitely have to be shooting with me how the, mm-hmm. how they are. That's how it has to be. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. need a good POV dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But all the guys I've dated have had have been in Utah and they've had Mormon families so they can't shoot with me. You got to get family. out of Utah. Okay. I know. What are you still doing there? Leave like Mormon behind. There. Okay. It's, it's just like my little like peaceful hideaway. It's so like mm-hmm. Are you so... still going on door knocking journeys? What? <laughs> Where, where you spread the word. No, I never served a mission. Missions, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Journey, I said. No. Yeah. I left the church before I was old enough to do that. Okay. Thankfully. But the missionaries knock on my door all the time. Really? Yeah. And they spread the word of the holy. They try to, like, so I usually don't answer it. And, like, one day I was, like, napping in the middle of the day. I finally had, like, some time to fucking relax. And I had just got done shooting a custom and I was still wearing like a sexy little slip like lingerie and I just like passed out and someone rang my doorbell and I look on my phone on my camera and it's missionaries and I usually ignore it but I was like pissed that they were waking me up and also I wanted I was like I'm in lingerie I should just go fuck with them I'm in lingerie. Mm -hmm. So there was like six of them and I opened the door wide open and they're all just standing there like uh. Uh, is this a bad time? Like trying not to make <laughs> eye contact. Fucking and I was weird. Like, I was like, no, do you guys want to come in? And they were like, <gasps> so, they got out of there so fast. It was so funny. Though. They ran away from a pretty girl. Well, because mm-hmm. they're sweet religion. They were too tempted. Well, they're not <laughs> tempted all, by the devil. They're not allowed to be in a house alone with a woman. Oh, my so God. yeah, especially a woman in lingerie with mm-hmm. like sex hair. So damn. Mm-hmm. What's the appeal? Uh, I mean, when your salvation is on the line, they can. People can sell you anything if you believe it. it. Sounds worse than Scientology. They're, yeah, they're selling. They're basically selling you an afterlife of you know paradise. So people are. It's sad though because they're they're following this religion so closely in order to have that, but then they're missing out on life. They're yeah, missing out yeah. on life. Yeah. So well said. Yeah. I feel like religion served a purpose back in the day, you know, to keep everyone controlled. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it gave us like a moral, you know, guideline community. But now we can do that without it. We have social media. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you girls this. (laughs) Do you think Jesus Christ died a virgin? Fuck no. (laughs) He was hanging out with Mary Magdalene. She's a prostitute. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's who we chose to roll up with his 12 boys. And his Mm -hmm. mom was obviously a hoe. She just got knocked up out of nowhere. So he was like surrounded by hoes. No. Yeah. 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 There's no way. Jesus was a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's like, think about all the, think about the riz he must have had. (laughs) Fucking awesome riz. Like, like, hey, watch what I can do. Yeah. I think Jesus was probably very manipulative. He's like, want to squirt? You know, (laughs) he could just do it without like, without. Yeah, just. uh, He could like just look at you across the room and just make you squirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I might. Yeah, bra I might convert back if if he could do that (laughs) to me. I'd go back. Yeah, then he takes a prostitute. He's like, yo, we're doing like a fucking walk and shit. Like. You got to entertain the boys. One time I did go to church because my parents made me. It was for a holiday. 
and I really wanted to like hook up with my ex again and he had blocked me whatever and I started praying to like the Jesus on the wall saying please Jesus I want to fuck him again so bad I'm begging you. Did he answer your prayers? He did and so then after that I started going to church every time this man would block me and I would pray to that Jesus statue and he would unblock me every time and fuck me right after. Yep. Maybe God is real. But it stopped working eventually I think it's God caught on. Uh, but I don't know. Okay. But maybe I did it was it like one of times. his assistants. That was the only time I was ever religious. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well shit, maybe I'll have to go back to church. I talked about that. it on TikTok. <laughs> I talked about it on TikTok and people said it was the devil answering my prayers. Oh, well, I mean, I, I guess like, you hey. just need to worship the devil then. Mm-hmm. <sighs> now we now we get cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Kazumi's party two weeks ago. Yeah. And I saw that on Instagram. Yeah, people were saying it's a satanic ritual that we were at. Of course they are. That's the new thing. They love to say that about everything. Right. They're going to say this is a satanic ritual. Have you done any? It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done any like Satanish type shit scenes? Uh, I did. Uh, I've done like some Halloween stuff. I was like a demon once. Like they put red contacts in. I had my long tongue. We and like I was, that. Like, yeah, it was hot. Mm. It was fun. We like that. Yeah. Yeah. With the tongue, you can get real fucking original. I mean, Yeah. Is that why you chose to do porn? Because you knew how unique your tongue was? No, I mean, that wasn't all it. I thought it it might be useful, but that definitely Mm -hmm. certainly wasn't the driving point. So what was the driving point? Because we know how you did it, but like what clicked in your head? Well, I have always been like a really sexual person. And even when I was working at the solar company, it was all men. There was only like two other women that worked in the office. Were you fucking everyone in the office? Yes, I was fucking everyone in the office. And none of them knew. Mm -hmm. So I would like be taking them to the warehouse like, and it was exhausting and I was like, could barely get my work done. You were fucking like, people at work. Yeah, like all, yeah, all the guys at, at work. Wow. And uh, so you were gonna get fired eventually, anyway. No, because I was fucking yeah. my boss too. Oh my god, so <laughs> he wasn't gonna fire me. But but if, I was like, why am I like this? Is all I'm doing all day, and I'm like not making enough money here. So mm-hmm. I need, I like should be getting paid more if I'm gonna be doing this. Wow. Yeah, so you were just always a hoe, and just for sure, full yes. send it. Yeah, because we also saw that. today that you you said about yourself that you were the school slut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always. Even even before I ever had sex, I just have slut energy, I guess, mm-hmm. because I mm-hmm. actually was like one. I lost my virginity later than most people that I went to like high school with. Mm-hmm. But I was always labeled the slut. I think it's just Me too. something in my like personality Me or the too. way. Why yeah. were you the blowjob like bandit? <laughs> was I the blowjob yeah. bandit? Not yet. No, but I feel were like you it, a virgin, and everyone just assumed you were like a oh, whore. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's happened to me too. Yeah, basically. To like, be fair, I did get fingered in a stairwell, and everyone found out about it. But yeah, but I wasn't even I was like still a virgin. Yeah, same. Yeah. But everyone still like thought I was the biggest slut. So at mm-hmm. that point, I was like, well, I might as well have sex. Everyone already thinks you I might am, as well so. own it, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's something. It's like something in the energy, mm-hmm. you know. So I guess they could just sense that I had it in me. And does it go all the way back to your younger days that you wanted to fuck girls? Oh yeah, I I was fucking girls before I was fucking guys. No way. Yeah. Oh wow. So you you ate a girl out before you gave a blowjob. Yes. That's cool. Why is that cool? Because girls usually slowly. Did you eat a girl out before you gave a blowjob? <laughs> He's not yes. gonna answer that. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, I was getting blowjobs for like five years before I I, I That's had the up. sex. Where's the reciprocation? Oh wait, okay. I thought you were gonna say you're giving blowjob for years before you ate a girl out. No, but, well, okay. actually, yeah, kinda. Because have you ever given a blowjob? No. Why? But I did get head from a transgender. <laughs> you did? Yeah. From who? I, w- I was on stage in Barcelona at a sex show called Baghdad. That's so hot. I love. I want to do like exhibitionist stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. In front of like fifty people, I sat in a chair. That's so hot. Is there a video? No. Damn. But it's their final act every night. I, I didn't. And I you didn't. just like volunteered or. So it's an interactive sex show. It's 250 okay. euros to get in. Nice. But you get to, you know. Was t- the blowjob good? It was great. With a condom, but it yes. was great. Yeah. I sat in a chair on a, it's like slowly turns the oh. stage. And it's like a circular. So when the chair turned around, they could all just see your butt crack? Yeah. I was sitting. <laughs> I was sitting in yeah. a chair. And then it was like a long, like, I want to say like seven, eight minutes, which is like, usually the things Did on stage come? are like two minutes. No, I was too, like, my boys are like there, you know. Uh, just too nervous with yeah. everyone watching you. Then they sit you down. They do this every night. I didn't yeah. know. And then a guy comes out with a drum roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, boom, track pants rip off, and the girl had a dick. No! no after we you didn't yeah, know it yeah. after? What did you do? Because uh, now trance is cool, whatever. Yeah. But 10 years ago, mm-hmm. yeah. I want to kill myself. Yeah. I wasn't, you know, mature yet. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, I was just a little boy getting head from a dude. It's not a I dude. I mean, I heard that dudes definitely give better head than women. It was women. lovely. It was lovely. Yeah, well. so, you know... <laughs> She knew what you wanted. It, yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. I'm glad you had a lovely time. And, and Liam, my little gay assistant. My little gay assistant. <laughs> yeah. When he it, needs what, a t-shirt. Liam, what happens that? when you have a good hard day's work? I get a little kiss kiss. 
Oh, <laughs> that's really sweet. I said one percent gay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everyone, you know, there's like straight and bi and gay, and, and everyone's somewhere, somewhere on the spectrum. Yeah. yeah maybe five like, percent. You don't have to be like straight or like fifty fifty or gay. Right. Would you be you gay for pay? Is there a number? I would. It wouldn't bother me. No. Yeah. It wouldn't bother me. Mm-hmm. Like I don't. I don't care. If you're secure enough in your sexuality, then it shouldn't. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've done like really gay shit as a joke. You know. Mm-hmm. As a, was it really a joke? <laughs> was it a joke? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Is that a joke? It wasn't a joke. All right, enough about me. <laughs> I'm getting roasted. Peggable. What was the other one? What else is it? Anyway. I don't know. <laughs> well, great episode. <laughs> no, that is our time. That is an hour. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Thank you. What are we doing? Well done, Liam. Two segments. Uh, first one is by Popstar, this amazing brand. Where you take a pill every day and your cum tastes like pineapple. No. It's delicious. I love how dirty cum tastes, though. Like, I love when yeah. it's nasty. Well, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's what is your wildest cum shot experience? Um, I, I shot a scene with a guy who, uh, like, the male talent, someone had tried, a girl had tried to cancel him because they did a facial and it got in her eye. And then he, she was like, he assaulted me. I'm like, it's a facial. Oh, it's going to oh happen God. sometimes. Okay. But he was, she was like, he came in my eye on purpose. And it was a whole thing. And he felt really bad. And That's I shot, hot. I shot with him the next day and he was all like nervous about it. And I was like, fuck her. Let's just like make this a fuck you scene to her. So we like made the whole thing coming in my eyes. So yes. I was like, I'm just going to like beg for you to come in my eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now, yeah. So that he could like redeem himself or I don't know. Yeah. Good for funny. you. Yeah. You suck. So your- I, did, I, kept, I didn't hold him. I just kept him wide open. I didn't blink. I didn't have to hold did him. Did it like, burn? Hell yeah. It burned. One time I did get pink eye and like my eye crusted shot because Ooh. I got cum in my eye. What? Cum <laughs> yeah. shouldn't give you pink eye. No, that's, it just be, that's the booty crap. Yeah. yeah. Were you eating no, ass? I mean, no, I wasn't eating ass. I've had a lot of cum in my eye and I've never had I, pink eye. I think it was because I had my contacts in and oh, I guess it maybe really marinated, marinated in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it marinated. Marinated. It's like s- soaking in there. Yeah. That's kind of hot too, though. It was. Mm. And then I walked out. It was like a badge of honor, you know? Do you know why it hurts when you get cum in your eye? Why? Why? You don't you don't know this? No. Oh, so is it because like your the, eye is the, like killing the sperm or something? No, or the this? sperm is trying. It feels like your eye has like pressure on it. It uh-huh. feels like your eyeballs being squeezed, and it's because the sperm is trying to like impregnate your eye. So the sperm's all pushing <gasps> into your eyeball. Oh my god! So that's why it feels like pressure. It's in the your swimmers eye. trying to so, swim. Yeah, no, they're literally trying to impregnate your eyeball. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, they're trying to like swim into your eye. Like, I wonder if anyone's oh, ever wow. gotten pregnant in their eye. I mean, that's amazing. That's a really good fun fact. It is a fun fact. Thank you for that one. It makes it hot when you get cum in your eye because then I think it's hot. Think, yeah, you, you think because then it's like you can like you want think, these blue eyes, huh, them. boys? Yeah, it's my almost... boyfriend won't give me a facial. What? Look how pretty that face is. How could you not? Look, come I on have face? the best blowjob eyes, right? Don't I? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna come on her face. Eyes. If you don't, <laughs> they're great. Like you, 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 you thinks do it's have too great blowjob eyes. It's not Thank degrading. You. It's only degrading if you make it degrading. Exactly. That's exactly my point. It's all about your intentions. He won't spit in my mouth either. I mean, it's all about your intentions. If mm-hmm. you're if you're not trying to make it degrading, then it's not. You get to decide. Yeah. Yeah. Professional. Mm-hmm. Segment number two. You started off camming, yes? No. Well, the, I did not for pay. <laughs> I was like, I was on like uh, video chat websites, like just for fun, oh. like doing like sex. Oh, stuff. like um, chat roulette type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I would go on there and like. Would you go on it. Omegle and just play with yourself? Not Omega chat roulette. It's like the no. same type same of thing. thing with, but with kids. I, that's the OG one. No, 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 okay, no, no. I would go on. Sh- no, I would go on like late at night, and I also would uh-huh. like be wearing like a rope, and I'd be switch like clicking through people mm-hmm. and like looking for because there's tons of guys with their dicks out. So yeah. I just look for those guys. And I'm like, hey, let's yeah, let's go. Do it together. And you would do that with them? Yeah, all the time. I thought you girls didn't exist. I've been on chat roulette a hundred times, and this I did that forever. And then I was dating a guy, and he was the one that was like, you. Like, you're so obsessed with this. You should get paid for this. You should just do camming. I'm like, I didn't even think of that as an option. <laughs> so, and then I started looking into camming, but then I did porn instead. But mm-hmm. that's, that is kind of how I... And you haven't done camming? I have done, like, a couple, like... Like, lives? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But never, like, consistently camming. Wow, you little fucking horn dog. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Holy I'm, shit. I'm right yeah. where I belong. <laughs> Yo, fucking right you are. Damn. What an episode! It's an honor. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. That was so wow. fun. We She's sweet. Gifts. She's oh yeah, we have gifts. Liam, good work. See, he's gonna get a kiss today. Oh, yeah. he's gonna get a little kiss kiss. Yeah. Do you smoke weed? Uh, a little bit. Okay. This is from Via Hemp Aphrodisiac Marijuana. Oh no way. Gets you real roused. And it does. And it does. My middle my middle name is Rose, so I love that. That's this is from Bathmate. Uh the Vibe Black. It's a little bullet for your clitoris. Oh, yes. I've been needing one of these travel size ones. I have some travel coming up. There we up. go. 
And then from our title sponsor, who we love so much, our partner, Jerkmate. Just cute little bobblehead. Oh, that Aww. is so cute. I love it. There we it. go. Liam, great work today. Great work. Alina Lopez. Okay, so your Instagram is at it's Alina Lopez. Yes. I'm an it's guy myself. Yes. Yeah. And what's the OF? Uh, same. It's Alina Lopez. Okay. Nice. Ava? Mine? Yeah. My Instagram's Ava Louise with two eyes. And Why is that the two eyes, by the way? Honestly, it's because I wanted Ava Louise, but someone already had it. So I had to go with two eyes, and now I have it tattooed on my neck. Louise oh, with two eyes. cute. This is my thing. Where? You see it? Oh, in the red. In the red, yes. Got it. And then my OnlyFans, the link's in the bio. Link's in the bio. Because I don't I don't even know what it is. Because I was trying to hide <laughs> it from my mother when I first started, oh. so I made it a little weird. Oh. There's some X's in there. I don't fucking know. Okay. Yeah. Well, what an episode. Pillow Talk. We'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs>